Well, hello, hello. We hey. have a special guest. Hey, good morning, everyone. This morning. is Mr. Soselski. And I'm Paige. It's Gary McLaughlin. And we're just going to talk about um, the new and upcoming LHS Instagram account that we've been hearing about. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I would love to. You know, we've been uh, kind of venturing into this social media realm the last few years and we did some, uh, a big changeover. I think it might have been, I think it's one of those now with our website. You know, we went from a kind of a homegrown website, web page for the district, and then um, working with a company called Aptigy. And uh, we kind of started with them a few years ago. And it was great because it's kind of all inclusive. You know, it's got the website, it connected to our Facebook page, uh, at the time, Twitter. Um, it's got its own app that, uh, you know, our, our, our students, our families, community, they can download and get yeah. information. I think I have that app, yeah. actually. <laughs> and uh, I, I think the other nice thing, too, is, you know, some of the uh, features, it's got this thing called Live Feed. And oh. it's uh, it's really neat. And if you, if, if you click on it through the app or through the website, it kind of gives you, um, let's call it up-to-the-moment type information, as long as we push it out. And so our principals, we have teachers that are pushing information out, uh, maybe something exciting going on in the classroom, uh, what's going on, uh, you know, in the school, maybe it's a band, a band concert that may be happening. You know, Mr. Bennett, our band director, he can, he can put something out there real quick, take a quick picture and, and like, hey, don't forget about the band concert tonight. Boom, throw it out there. And anybody who's got the app or, uh, you know, happens to be on the website can, can click on it and find out, oh, I have something going on at school, I can head up there. And so I, I think the other thing that's come about now, obviously, as you mentioned, is the Instagram. You know, we, uh, yeah. uh, my generation <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, you know, um, jumping into Instagram too. It's just another source of information. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, as students, you guys, I think, are using. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're going we're gonna to use it too to get information out to you guys. Um, just the excitement that you guys have created here at Linden, you know, whether it be at the high school, middle school, even the elementary, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And what's cool is like with the app, like I'll get notifications, but on Instagram, I feel like I'm on that more than the actual app. Yeah. So it's definitely really cool for students to get involved. Oh, good to hear. And, and believe it or not, we track it, you know, yeah. with the Aptigy program that we have. We don't track Instagram or what you, you know, <laughs> you guys are going to, don't get me wrong. But we're able to track like, uh, you know, the school uh, Facebook's site, uh, you know, our, our, our Twitter account, uh, even on our web page. Um, so we're able to kind of identify, you know, the demographics. We're able to identify the reach. Like with, with Facebook, it tells us, you know, how far our mm -hmm. post may have gone to reach different people. Um, again, just to get information out. So I, I think with Instagram, it's just another way for the district to communicate. Uh, and let's be honest, with students, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. And so, don't get me wrong, we're not going to be putting out there, you know, what we're having for dinner and things <laughs> like that. But, uh, no, as you saw, I think our latest one yesterday, we put out the weekly athletic schedule mm -hmm. um, using our own resources here at the school. Like you guys talked about earlier, you know, prior to uh, turning the podcast on here, <laughs> you know, you guys are creating different things in, 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 the, in the classes that we have. Um, different graphics and things that we're using. So we're reaching into some of the resources that we have with our students, which I think is, is, is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like username ideas? Oh, we have it set up. <laughs> Linden Schools. Just Linden? Linden Schools. schools. Yeah. And we did that to match like with our okay. Twitter account and our Facebook page. Okay. Makes sense. You know, Twitter's at Linden Schools. Um, you know, our, our Facebook page, obviously, the Linden Community Schools. <laughs> and then just to keep it short, we... Uh, it was it was available through Instagram, so yeah, just Linden Schools. Awesome. Right, cool. And so we we've only got a handful of followers. <laughs> oh wait, is it already up? Yes, big what? secret, big secret. Yeah. Yeah, break the news, <laughs> well, breaking news the here. The news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, wow. we we actually launched it. Uh, uh, I think two weeks ago. Oh okay. Um, okay. And again, it was just kind of let's just throw it out there and and see. Uh, as people find it, you know, yeah. and then we've been pushing it uh, on our stories and, and, you know, different personal sites, uh, sending it out to like our uh, athletic Instagram site. I know uh, our cheerleading site, okay, Instagram okay. site's been pushing it a little bit. Um, our boys lacrosse have been pushing it a little bit and uh, we just send it out to them, you know, kind of uh, as a, 
story, I think it's called. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, so yeah, we, we haven't launched it officially. Uh, but again, that's, uh, you know, we kind of did one of those soft launches, if you will, just to, just to kind of build steam, yeah. you know, and I think obviously doing this little deal with you guys, hopefully <laughs> will uh, push it a little more. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, how do you think, like, are you going to post Instagram polls and stuff? Do you know what that is? Like, I, I do know okay. because I've done a little research on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like how can students in, interact with the account, I guess? And, and I think that's something that we have on our little uh, play sheet, if you will, of, you know, what we're trying to do with the Instagram to reach our audience, which is obviously the students um, and primarily the high school students. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, those are things that we have kind of on our list that we've talked about. Uh, Ms. Kissel, uh, our instructional specialist um, and, and technology guru, she's really been uh, kind of the, the forerunner to get this up and going. And uh, that was like, as I mentioned, as we were talking on our playlist and kind of as we planned it out, you know, kind of that's, I guess, really our next step is creating that interaction. We can get information back from the students. Hey, if you're looking for something besides a snow day, we can, <laughs> you, you know, we can get that information out. I, I think the other nice thing about it too, with, uh, you know, e even from the student standpoint, if there's information or, or, or stuff happening, you know, like videos, like we had a great uh, video of our uh, United team a uh, couple uh, last week that we, we posted a clip from, you know, during the basketball game and, uh, they had that nice little deal that our uh, basketball team did and some of our sports team did for Chris Duncan with the varsity jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we popped, uh, you know, little snippets of that video, those videos up there. On, on our current site with Aptigy, we can't post videos like with the Facebook page or yeah, yeah. Twitter. So Instagram allows us to do some more of those, you know, uh, yeah. live interaction type deals. Yeah, definitely. Like posting on stories, that's something like yeah. those instant little... Yeah, we're learning that too. <laughs> Do you have any more questions? Well, just a quick question for you guys then. Yeah, what absolutely. you know, what, what are things that we should be and I like your idea about reaching out to the students with the Instagram polls, but from your point of view, what are things that we should be doing, you know, with, with the social media to, you know, obviously reach our students, but also I, I think it's important to let uh, our students, our community, our parents know what you know, I, I think what you guys are doing around here is just fantastic. Yeah. You I know? think just like like, like sports schedules, like school schedules, maybe if you have like a day off or something, like make sure that it's known that the schedule is done and we have that day off, like for teacher days. Yeah. Um, I think like if we're like different teams for different accomplishments, we can post something about that to bring awareness to like different accomplishments the sports teams have. <laughs> Microphone's getting in the way. I know. It's <laughs> all right. No, I think those are great ideas. Yeah. I, and, and those are things that we want to hear about, too. Because, um, again, the more information we can get out and really, uh, you know, showcase you know, what our kids are doing, what our students are doing here is, you know, academically, non-academically. You know, yeah. you guys are here umpteen hours of the <laughs> yeah. day, um, you know, doing things for the school and for your your, your, your peers, for the community, getting out. Uh, it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think the podcast idea really umped us up to Linden Schools because I heard Fenton doesn't have one, so uh, gave us a little brownie <laughs> points there. I did hear that comment in our last meeting, <laughs> mm -hmm. but no, I was, you know, talking to, uh, before the podcast, it was, um, you know, I think some of the things with the pod, with the podcasting is uh, just another way to get information out. It seems to be the trend, quick listening. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about it. I think what you guys are doing here is, is, is like I said, pretty amazing. Um, just jumping right in with two feet. You know, I mm -hmm. think sometimes yeah. that uh, I know that gets me in trouble. Sometimes <laughs> you say, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. And then you do it and then you work it out from there. Yeah. And, you know, as long as everybody's on board and willing to, you know, kind of jump through some of the over the hoops and stuff, you good things happen. And I think this is another example of uh, doing some good things uh, with the resources that we have, getting information out. No, I think the podcasting and, um, you know, just different topics. You know, I can come up with all kinds. Of, you guys know that all kinds <laughs> of topics. Yeah. I liked one of your colleagues in there. We were talking beforehand about snow days. That'd be an interesting <laughs> one to talk it about would. too. Yeah, very 
Figuring out how you decide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie pushing deck. Right, no, no. But no, that's that's a whole nother topic <laughs> conversation, but that would be a good one to talk about too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's all I have. That's all I have. Awesome, Thanks I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. And as always, go, go Eagles. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>